So should, do I recommend uh, stories as the, uh, when I say stories, I mean, Facebook stories, Instagram stories, short form, uh, typically video based content up to 15 second videos show up as the stories that a lot of people consume it, you know, especially uh, on the mobile device. A lot of people, uh, from what I hear, people love consuming stories. Uh, some people just consume them almost exclusively compared to just posts. So, um, so here's my thought on that. If you are looking to build more of an, a larger audience, I think stories does make sense. Uh, in other words, stories builds broader audience. And also you can say, well, George, stories also reaches more of your true fan, your core audience, the people who engage with you the most. So both are true. Putting stories out there um, and stories don't have to be videos. They could also be on, on um, yeah, even on Facebook and Instagram, they could be single images. It could be an image with words or whatever you want. So there's two scenarios for stories, in my opinion. One is, um, you know, well, I, if you if you if you consume stories, you will see all the variety of types of content. And I think that's probably the the best answer for you if you're asking, well, what should I post as stories? Well, just go ahead and be a consumer of stories. Look at other people's stories and get inspired and go, oh wow, I didn't think about putting that kind of thing out there. It's much more than I could describe in, in this short answer. But in terms of um, whether I recommend it, here's what I would say: if it feels like a burden. And it's just, it's just um, not something you're energized to practice and get better at and learn to do stories. I invite you to let it go. <sighs> Breathe a sigh, big sigh of relief. If it's a burden to do stories, let it, let, the, let, it, let it the fuck go. Who says you have to create stories? Screw the social media experts who are always yelling at us to create stories. I say, screw them. Seriously, why? Why screw them? Here's why, okay? Because if you, if you make posts, because that's the other thing, it's like you either put stories or you put posts. And when I say posts, it could be either text or video. You know, I, I wrote them. So posts themselves, I mean, if you're going to be on social media, you, actually, you either have to create stories or posts or both, okay? And if you're not energized to learn how to create stories, just let, let it the fuck go. Just let it go, all right? Because if you, if you make posts, you'll get good at making posts, and then you your posts will go viral. Bottom line, if you make good posts, they will go viral. Or if you make posts that are okay and you run ads, they will also go viral because you're using ad dollars. Hey, $10, hey, I just reached a thousand people that wouldn't have seen it otherwise. Okay, so wh why not just do that? Okay, let it go. Now, um, there is a middle way from fuck stories to um, and yay stories, there's a middle way, which I'm trying to take the middle way here, which is um, on Instagram, it's easy for me to make stories when someone tags me in a story on Instagram. If, if someone do, does the at, at mention at and then geocal and then they tag me in the story, then it's much easier for me to, sh to reshare that as a story back to my audience to say, you know, thank you, Samya, for... <laughs> So that's the simple, if you, if you, if you consume my Instagram, just follow me on Instagram. And whenever you see me have a story, you look at it, oh, George is there with this really simple story again. <laughs> it's just like, he's always just resharing uh, what someone tagged him. Now, I know a lot of you don't get tags yet on stories. So um, I don't know, maybe you can get together with a few, if you want to take this way, you can get together with a few friends. Hey, can we tag each other on stories <laughs> or whatever? And, and kind of take it from there. So I hope this is helpful.